News Nation once again on Wildfire Watch. And several are still wreaking havoc all over the Southwest, burning up more than 120,000 acres of land, the majority in three states. And with warm and breezy conditions expected once again this week, the wildfire threat remains high. Here's correspondent Alex Capriello with details on some of the biggest fires. It's a very dangerous situation that we have right now. Much of the Southwest is on fire. Right now, there's over a dozen active wildfires burning primarily in Nebraska, New Mexico, and Arizona. All being fueled by dry conditions and windy weather over the weekend. In Nebraska, the raging wildfires turned deadly. The wind-driven flames killing retired fire chief John Trumbull and injuring more than a dozen others. Trumbull is the second person in a month to die while fighting a wildfire. Blazes there being reported in 14 counties across the state since Friday, all forcing several towns to temporarily evacuate. But those orders lifted on Saturday. In addition to the growing number of firefighters working to put these fires out, helicopters are making water drops. This video shows the burned land near Cambridge, Nebraska, the fire destroying at least six homes and burning over 41,000 acres. But this is just one of several fires still burning. In New Mexico, crews are working to protect businesses, homes, and land. The governor signing an emergency declaration Sunday as 20 wildfires burn through the state. One wildfire in northern New Mexico merging over the weekend with a different fire to form the largest blaze in the state. Its perimeter is more than 180 miles, burning over 56,000 acres, leading to mandatory evacuations in several counties. In Arizona, an evacuation order lifted for those affected by the tunnel fire, burning 14 miles northeast of Flagstaff. However, a state of emergency in Coconino County remains in effect. It comes after much needed rain fell on the area, but the flames destroyed at least two dozen buildings and scorched more than 21,000 acres in just eight days. As people began returning to their homes Sunday, the full scale of destruction came into view. These fires, part of an early and active wildfire season across the country. Fires have also plagued California, Colorado, and Texas. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.